fan too, notice me. <laughs> Y'all are terrible, man. Um Yeah, man. Apparently, honey boo boo's in hot water, man. <laughs> it's a bad. It's a bad. Salute to Doug Chumps, man. Pop Nation All Pro, man. Coming through, man. He you said you've been watching this show since 5K Sub. Salute to Earl W, man. 5k subs man damn that's a long time to never hit the cash app or never <laughs> you set a record man he set a record for not hitting the um super chat man my man been watching for like five six years never hit the super chat you are you are um you are you goat man <laughs> you the goat man I'd have entertained you probably what ten thousand times, man. <laughs> you the goat, man. Don't be telling people that, man. That ain't come out right. Salute the um. <laughs> Shit, man. Um. <laughs> Salute to Doug Chung. He said, and it's only Tuesday. Yeah, you glider women, man. Y'all in trouble, man. You got Miss Pearly Things. What's, what's her name? Just Pearly Things. Just Pearly Things in trouble with, with Negroes. Now, um, Honey Boo Boo in trouble with Negroes. <laughs> why you white women keep, why you white women keep um getting in trouble with Negroes, man? What's wrong with y'all, man? <laughs> Honey Boo Boo issues apology. See, that's the difference, man. White women go apologize, man. Or white people in general go apologize. White people go apologize in general, man. <laughs> When they when they say when they get when they get when they get Negroes mad, they gonna apologize. Listen, man, I've been on this app for what since 2017? Was it 2016? 2017. I did get on 2016, but I haven't I just you know made a couple videos just to see what it was about. But I've been on this app since 2017. That's six years, man. And I will say 93 out of 100 times, if Negro, if, a, if it's a Negro, say something that another Negro don't like, and the Negro say, hey, man, you, you, you hurt my feelings, man, with what you said. Hey, Negro, um, I take umbrage to what you said, Negro. Hey, Negro, um, what you said was actually, you know, offensive, man, and hurtful, man. And 93 out of 100 times, a little more than I would say 9 out of 10. 93 out of 100 times, that other Negro going to tell the Negro that's offended to go fuck himself. <laughs> Ninety-three out of a hundred times, you tell a Negro you offended on this app, he gonna tell you go fuck yourself. But I see glider women apologizing this week, man. I see glider women apologize. <laughs> Cause gliders gotta apologize, man. Glider. <laughs> Oh, 
a glacial a glacial angel <laughs> these glacial angels can't they can't just tell a sun man to go fuck himself they gotta they gotta apologize and go on the apology tour when if it was a sudden man some man just tell you go fuck yourself <laughs> give a fuck if you're upset about what i said go fuck yourself um <laughs> so honey boo boo man she can't do that man <laughs> Honey Boo Boo can't do that, man. <laughs> Honey Boo Boo can't tell these some people to go piss up a rope, man. Honey Boo Boo star Alana Thompson has apologized for the viral video of her putting on an accent that she described as ghetto. <laughs> She's apologizing for putting on an accent that she we described as ghetto. Listen, I do the white voice every night, man. My God. My God. These Negroes, they're always offended. I mean, Jesus Christ. Golly gee willikers, these Negroes are always offended. As we previously reported, the 17 year old made headlines over the week. She made headlines. Just think about that. Her doing a TikTok where she makes a silly voice, a silly ghetto voice made headlines. All you sun people need therapy, man. Negroes need therapy, man. And preferably that therapy should be done in Africa. We need to go back to Africa, man. Y'all, some people need to go back to Africa, man. Leave these people alone, man. They can't even have fun on their app, man. White people created all this shit, man. <laughs> White people created all this shit. They can't even have fun on this app. Hit one if you agree with that, man. Salute to J-Man. J-Man says, keeping the, ten, keeping the 10 bucks going. Thank you for the content you provide in the community that is like-minded and keep it 100. Yeah, salute to you, J-Man. Yeah, man. Op Nation is a nation, man. I am very, that's the, that's the thing, one of the things I like most, man. That is a nation, man. A place for people to come. And because if I wasn't on here, I would want a place like this. If I wasn't on YouTube, I want a place like this where you can come and get the news straight. No, no bullshit. Salute to you, J man. Salute to Earl W. Earl W. in the building, man. Earl W. He threw he threw in five dollars for what? Six years, man. My man gave he he he. He averaging a dollar a year, man. Now you got him at eighty cent a year, man. <laughs> Shout out to Earl W with his eight eighty cent a year ass, man. That nigga donated an average of eighty cent a year, man. <laughs> Thank you, Earl W, man. But it's fucked up, man. You goddamn son words, man. <laughs> You let these, these white people can't even have fun on their own app, man. <laughs> white people can't have fun, man. Negroes come on here. Some people come on here, and they just wild out. Hold up, nigga. Drop your addy so we can come kill you. They killing people. 
We just did a story the other day. It's just just kill somebody on it. We be killing people on the internet and be mad because somebody did a video with an accent. <laughs> Yo, we literally kill people on these apps. You can't let that go over your head. You can't let that go over your head, man. Gladders. Gladders, man. Gladders, come here, man. Let me pull you gladders in, man. Just gladders, man. Everybody else... Don't listen, man. This ain't for y'all, man. Gliders, man. We literally kill people on these apps, man. <laughs> did you see the video I did the other day? The woman killed her husband on Facebook Live? Yeah, we kill people on these apps, man. And y'all can't even... <laughs> Let me drop the link, man. Let me drop the link, man. <sighs> you said ban Bill from eating. We got to ban Bill. Bill, you Bill, you going to one one joke an hour minimum, man. Bill, Bill tell a lot of goddamn jokes, man. Bill don't care where the conversation going. Bill going to get his joke in. <laughs> Bill don't give a fuck what the, what, the, what the arc of the conversation is. He going he, he to get his joke he was thinking about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> Salute to Yokohama, man. He said 100% son people will tell you I said what I said. <laughs> Mom was just no fuck giving. Yeah, man. Shout out to Yokohama, man. Yokohama be coming in, man. <laughs> yeah, man, we gotta put you on a one joker, one joker hour minimum, man. Bill, Bill had this motherfucker like the improv, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> he said Johnny Rev get his points in for two hours, bro. <laughs> nah, Johnny Rev, my man, man. Johnny Rev is like our researcher, man. He do a lot of research for the channel, man. So Yo, I, right, you said uh, Bill's fixing to get himself canceled. No, I mean I I I I'm patient. I've been patient with Bill, man. Haven't I? I mean, yeah, I mean I don't I don't think to be honest, but I I never think that you do too much anyway, though. You know. Yeah, man. The, the only one, the only one that kind of asked for it was Bill there a little bit, but <laughs> uh, you know. Yeah, man. I, I be trying to be patient with people, man, because it's still a product, man. And you can't have. It, it still got a. It's a product. It's a show. So it's like it, it, I get we hanging out and shit, but you still got to deliver a good product. If you fucking that up, man, I gotta get rid of you. <laughs> What's up, Fisher? Fisher of men. Uh, I got I got all caught up on my uh, sister wives watching. Oh. Now I can come back on the show. Oh yeah, man. Sister wise, man. Yeah, man. You, you, you is that a lifestyle that you wanna um you want a piece of? It's uh one one I can't quite wrap my head around. Oh yeah. Hey man, sister wise, man, I'll take it, man. But the only thing I only want it for like a week and they gotta all be have big boobs and big asses, and at the end of the week, man, gotta get the fuck on about their lives, man. I couldn't live in a five bitches for the fucking more than a week man i'm sorry man i couldn't do it um 
So Alana, man, back to back to Honey Boo Boo, man. Honey Boo Boo's in deep shit, man. <laughs> this is my thing, man. This is my thing, man. When at what point do you do 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 some people say, look, man, this is a bad look, man. These people, we over these people, we over here. Don't get me wrong. Now that we it's our country too. So it's not like we over here. But we over here with these people sharing this country, man. We 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 married history. The the past has married us together, man. The sad, dark past has married us together, and we just here together, man. So that do his part. <laughs> yeah, man. Why we why we over here fucking with these people like this? But leave this little girl alone, man. Hey, you, you know what? <laughs> my my only issue with it, and again, disclaimer on Brito's do it too. But my only issue with it is the most sensitive people are the most violent people out here. How yeah. does that make sense? By far, too. Like, it ain't not like the most, it ain't like they commit, um, you know, a little bit more. They commit, like, they they by far the most violent people, man. If you remove us from the population, this would be the safest large country on the planet. And the universe. <laughs> yeah, man. We 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 fuck up all the numbers, like they were saying the other day when that mass shooting happened. Gun violence is the number one cause of death for kids. Right. And, and if you move <laughs> remove black kids from that, it ain't right. even in the top one hundred. <laughs> right. Kid, kids. Period. Let's be fair. <laughs> yeah. Like it's just crazy, man. Um. Salute to Morgan Cane. She sends the PayPal. She says, salute to all the folks on the panel, the audience, and salute to the great op, man. Yeah, salute to you, man. Appreciate that, man. Um, Yo, if, yeah. if only Bill was out here to tell us about the weather. Yeah, man. Nah, it's, it's cool, man. Bill's all right, man. I ain't, I ain't mad. No, no, I mean, I like Bill. I just, I just think, I just think that, I just think that, um, you know, you just got to, just <laughs> You just gotta like listen, man. You act like you 70. I I learned last night that Bill was only 55. Bill act like my my stepfather, man, who's 75, man. Bill, you only 55 year old. You act like it's, like old old man, man. It, it's all that whiskey, man. It's gotta be. <laughs> yeah, man. It's Dude. all that wind. He can't hear shit and he just randomly starts talking when you're talking. That yeah. makes sense, actually, though. <laughs> yeah. Salute to my man Gil B, man. Gil B with the cash app, man. Salute to Gil B. Um, yeah, man. It's 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 crazy, man. Um uh hold on, we got who Nicholas Howell. Who's Nicholas Howell? Mm. The, the glider from Memphis. Oh, oh hey. what's up, dude? What's up, man, what's going on, right. man? I'm on, I'm on vacation from the sun. That's, that's a <laughs> in Memphis. Oh my God! Um, tell me this though. Tell me this though. Um, your um, if if this was a little black girl, right, who was popular from TV, name me a little black girl that's, that's popular on TV the last twenty years. That's like a sensation. Um, uh, um, uh, the, the Maori sisters. They are great grown now, but um, I can't think of any little black girls that's like that's like sensations on TV. And now, what about like the sister sister girls? I don't know the name. We, sister we, sister. Yeah, they they all talking about back in the day. Rudy Huxtable, Ray Small. Well, let's all right. Let's just say Ru, Ru, Rudy Huxtable, right? Let's just say Rudy. Let's just say the Cosby Show was out now, right? <laughs> and Rudy. She was like 17. It was it, the show went off the edge. She's 17 now, but she's still on social media. And she out here doing her thing. And she and, and white people was fucking with her about anything. I'm not, it don't matter what it is. White people was fucking with her about anything. And demanding apologies from her, man, it would be hell to pay, Jack. It would be a fucking problem, Jack. We would be, black folk would be incensed. She don't have to apologize. 
Y'all, uh, fuck y'all. Uh, don't apologize, Rudy. Don't tell them this shit. Tell them don't fuck them. Say me. Then double ACP will get involved. It'd be marches. Mother, good morning, America. Have to cover the shit. ESPN. Why is why is the internet not safe for black children? Is the internet a place where black children are being harmed? It be all this. Shit. Why are they fucking with this little girl? Black people don't care. We we we've gone so far off the fucking um goddamn plant. They, I don't even say plant. We've gone so we jumped the shark so much that we out here fucking with this little white girl. I mean fucking with her hard over a, a TikTok video where she made a little ghetto accent and she's a fucking trailer trash. It ain't like she has to diddy. She's trailer trash. Did you watch the show? Hell no. <laughs> I never did. Man, I didn't little, either, but she's a little yeah. fucking trailer to her dad is Mike and her mom is June and they're two fucking of the trashiest white people you ever fucking meet in your life. And they live in a fucking tra- her mom like Yo, she's a fucking trailer, Appalachian trailer trash. I'm not trying to diss her because I like the show and I like her, but and now she's dating a black guy who's like 25 or some shit, and she's 17. And they're dragging, black people are dragging her. Leave this fucking little girl alone, man. She said, let me see if they got the video, man. Okay, here we go. Here we go. See, that's her little boyfriend. You know, I actually start talking like this. Okay, I'm gonna talk like this. Early. Okay, because y'all think I'm so ghetto. I'm gonna show y'all fucking ghetto. Oh, okay. God. Because I, I don't know what you're talking about over there. But, baby, let me tell you, on this side, we good on this side, baby. We good on this side, baby. Let me tell you that. Let me tell you like that, boo. We good on this side, boo. <laughs> <laughs> He's smacking her head. That's what they mad about. Cause this is shit they gotta do. Cause when they smack, cause they're weeds, man. When they weave, they be itching and they don't want scratches. They be doing like this. I be saying that. That's what they was mad about. That's yo, about yo, that. I, but why? Why is it? Correct me if I'm wrong. But why is it that these people like to attach themselves to debauchery? Like, why do you have to own this ghetto, ignorant vernacular? Yeah, exactly. Why is why did you why did a hit dog holler? That's what you mean, right? Yeah, it, I mean, it, 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 it seems better to not say nothing because, like, like it's it's like it's like me saying, man, all these faggot ass niggas on the panel, and you be like, hey, man, <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> right? All these fucking homos on this panel. Hey, I, I get, I get hey. you. Yeah, he's, he's, he's trying to say this. I, He's trying to say, um, why do why do we want to why do we want even want to claim that type of language of uh, of speaking as as a race? Cause but, hit dogs holler. It is us that we the one. She she was right, but she should be able to make fun of us. I don't give a fuck if she didn't have a boy black boyfriend. She should be able to make fun of us. Why the fuck we can't? And we get to make fun of everybody else, but can't nobody make fun of us. Yeah, what about those hicks? Those uh southern hicks, which let's be honest, that's really where this ghetto slang came from, right? Rednecks, yeah, rednecks. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Well, not like I one thing about that though, is we did talk like we was in slavery. We did talk like slaves. So like it wasn't all rednecks, but I mean, yeah, but yeah, a lot of the shit, a lot of the ghetto shit, we we um we didn't get it from rednecks, but we copied that their 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 behavior. We copied their um like I what I want to say slang. We copied their right. slang. Right. And, but, but we was dysfunctional. And they ain't teach us how to be dysfunctional. We was dysfunctional anyway. Um, but um yes yeah but um leave this little fucking girl alone. Why y'all mess with this little white? Girl? Why is it's adult. It's grown ass people here. She, she a culture Like, who hey, she, 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 she gonna pull like um just about all the rest of them. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. I don't give a fuck if she was fucking Paris Hilton. Leave this fucking girl alone. She made a TikTok. I mean, I I get stuck on TikTok sometimes. And on this app, where you just keep scrolling through, you see one video. It's like addiction. You see, the video's they, so short. Yeah, they say it's 
on purpose. That the, if I'm not wrong, that the Chinese built it for that purpose. That they don't yeah. have that same uh, they don't have that same algorithm in China. They limit it. They don't allow okay. it for the kids. Okay. Because well, it's well, very addicting and it just dumbs you down. Yeah, it is very very much so. So you can I can watch a hundred videos in like um an hour. It just will blow an hour and be like, oh shit, what happened to that hour? I was supposed to do the XYZ and I'm like, shit. All right, one more video. And I'm like, all right, two more videos, and then I'm done. And now I put put it down. And it's like it's a gazillion videos on this app of niggas talking cash shit about white people. And I played as many as I can for you guys on the regular. None of those people ever apologize for anything. But this one, this little 17-year-old girl got to apologize to the whole black community for this? For this? She has to apologize to the black community for this. I said, don't start that shit. Hey, Ashley, you know what? I'm gonna actually start talking like this. Okay, I'm gonna talk like this. Early. Okay, because y'all think I'm so ghetto. I'm gonna show y'all fucking ghetto. Oh, God. Because I, I don't know what you're talking about over there. But, baby, let me tell you, on this side, we good on this side, baby. We good on this side, baby. Let me tell you that. Let me tell you like that, boo. We good on this side, boo. I said, don't start that shit. I mean, like, are you serious? Like, the black community, black adults have enough time to be mad about this 17 year old girl doing this. You don't think Brown Sugar's mad about this? Oh, of course. If she's a black woman, now we can have, she can come with speak with her. But the Brown Sugars of the world? Oh, hell yeah. I don't know if she's, you know, I mean, she's Ock Nation. She might not be pissed about it, but I think she would be. <laughs> that's, that's brown that's brown <laughs> memphis mammy come on now Man, y'all leave that alone. No, 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 that's true. and i just just want one the topic i want to apologize to some people because sometimes i sag and i have a gun on me with no holster so i, I mean i'm appropriating black culture you know i yeah, apologize man. do you shoot sideways man of do course you shoot yeah you do you yeah. shoot children not yet one day I, okay, i'm working man. on it i'm building up for yeah. it you not you not you not real son man. Um yeah, this is this is this is this is this is annoying, man. Um this one says y'all are going to get enough of condoning BS like this that perpetuates negative stereotypes about us. Not only that, it wasn't cute when she was little, and damn sure isn't cute now. Shit, man, like the black community is in uproar over this. And it shows how fucking small we are. Like I tell you all the time, gliders are fucking refueling fighter jets at 40,000 feet right now. Gliders are doing important. They're building fucking skyscrapers and shit. They're fucking building all types of shit everywhere and fucking all fucking the air, the sea. Chat, chat, chat GPT. Yeah. And some people are literally mad, consumed with this fucking little girl that they weren't talking about before she said it. About her doing that. What I just showed you. We're Fucking kids, and I and it makes sense. The little um study I, I see where it shows that we from birth we we accelerate faster than all the other races. We learn faster, we talk faster, we walk faster, and then at fourteen that shit just plateaus, and it just stops the arc. Our arc, our maturity arc, just levels out, and it doesn't go anymore past fourteen. And it, it, when you look at black people, we act like a bunch of 14-year-olds. Because think about it. The 17-year-old is like, okay, I apologize to you guys. I'm sorry. She's more mature than us. None of us would apologize. If we offended her, we would tell her to go fuck herself. <laughs> this shit is sad. <laughs> that, that's the way, you know, I, I have a... You know, I'm a son, man. 
and I have a son, man, uh, you know, some woman. And all the time, I'm trying to break it down to her how, why, you know, black, you know, some men kind of get in trouble when they get, you know, arrested and stuff like that. Like they should, she's like, they should be allowed to talk to cops this way. You know, cops should take it and stuff like that. I'm like, no, you shouldn't talk to cops this way. You shouldn't talk to anyone this way. And well, or like that's why it should because that's their job. They, they should take it. You know, I'm like, nah, it shouldn't. It should be that way. And she wouldn't that's, take but, no shit at her job. If you can't, if she was a right. cashier and you sucked your teeth after she fucking, uh, she did. So if you sucked your teeth or rolled your eyes, she would want to take it in the parking lot and fight you. So bye. <laughs> So that's the way she think though. I don't know why she think that way, but I think half of half of them think that way though. For some reason, they they could talk to anyone that the way they want to talk. Um, yeah, but they get into any conversation. To they want cops to take shit though. That shit is crazy, mm-hmm. man. Hey, hey, President, are you the guy that used to be an attorney? Nah, that's not me. No, nah, that's a, that's I forgot his name. Um, um, from many. Oh God, ALC. Um. This is another one that's... Ugh. Of these disgusting and insinuating attacks on trans and LGBT people are actually projections of what predatory cisgender and often straight men do when left alone in the presence of women or sometimes horribly children. So instead of getting you to challenge the patriarchy, they're trying to get you to challenge the very gender expressiveness that challenges patriarchy. Don't get it twisted because a lot of people attacking drag are projecting. Many of these dis- <laughs> people who don't want drag queen story time in front of little kids are projecting. No, the fucking guy who's per- who's prancing around in in a fucking speedo in a push up bra in front of six years olds, he's the one projecting. You fucking bitch. <laughs> What the fuck is she talking about, man? Fun fact about her, she said she was a Sephardic Jew one time. When was this? It was a while back. It was in a little obscure speech. She said she's a Sephardic. What do you think about that? Do you think she is? Uh, She's probably mixed, if anything. Jenny from the block, man. Attacks on trans and LGBT people are actually projections of what predatory cisgender and often straight men do when left alone in the presence of women or sometimes horribly children. So instead of getting you to challenge the patriarchy, they're trying to get you to challenge the very gender expressiveness that challenges patriarchy. Don't get it twisted because a lot of people attacking drag are projecting. Many. Okay, so let's see the comment section. This is a black site. So this one, this sister says, she basically said it's not straight man, it's straight white man. <laughs> so she went at so she, she she's not and she, this woman is not gonna get doxxed. She's not worried about waking up tomorrow morning and hearing that, you know, her job is firing her or some shit like that. She don't give a fuck. She might get applauded for it if they're bossing it. Like, like I saw what exactly. you said though. Kudos to you. You how brave of you. Exactly, man. This one right here says. Two definitions. Hold on. You see? Let's go. Okay, it says, um, say it again. Okay, say it again for the ones in the back. <laughs> oh, she said, we're talking about mo- molest, rape, kidnapping, and terrorism. White guy stuff. <laughs> oh, God. This one said, those are violent crimes. Blacks commit those the most. And this one says, no, black men too. It says, white, straight men commit more mass murders than black men. Boom. <laughs> um, this one says, two definitions of mass murders. Shooting of four or more people. And two, lone gunmen, dudes shooting up the place. Then white people more responsible for the second definition, but gang violence most responsible for the first definition. Well, actually, we were responsible for both of those. <laughs> <laughs> and gang violence is a dog whistle. 
Yeah, exactly. Facts. Um, and this was and she's not wrong. Uh, so yeah, you see the way black people talk. This one says one says black, the other has to say white. The government is so dumb now. I grew up in the 90s when RuPaul had a talk show on VH1. No one cared about drag queens. It has been an art form for decades. It's the TikTok social media gender cult. No, it's bitches that they're doing in front of kids now. Um, yeah, this is, it's got to be mad if you're a white person in this country, man, to see how remedial some people are to know that you can't get rid of us. <laughs> it got to be like a nightmare, man. You can't even get rid of us, man. Um, so up at the security desk here at the jail, the screeners have to watch not just what the public may try to bring in, but also their fellow deputies and all of the other employees. When a typical jail menu gets to be mundane, some inmates have options. They can stir the menu by having an officer or other staffer go get them restaurant fare. Authorities are looking at this video showing Fulton inmates preparing to consume a restaurant meal smuggled into the jail. So think about it. You're the fucking idiot guard that smuggled this in and these fuckers are making TikToks, bragging about it and shit, making the spot hot. Some men, man, we're fucking, we're different, man. What prisoners can persuade or pay staff to provide has expanded. Whoever that might be is now cooperating with the criminal base to bring in everything from. Oh, shit. My bad. So up at the security desk here at the jail, the screeners have to watch not just what the public may try to bring in, but also their fellow deputies and all of the other employees. When a typical jail menu gets to be mundane, some inmates have options. They can stir the menu by having an officer or other staffer go get them restaurant fare. Authorities are looking at this video showing Fulton inmates preparing to consume a restaurant meal smuggled into the jail. <laughs> what prisoners can persuade or pay staff to provide has expanded. Whoever that might be is now cooperating with the criminal base to bring in everything from cell phone cigarettes and now even steak dinners. A spotlight is on the conduct of jail personnel after video surface of one female officer shown in a compromising intimate exchange with an inmate whose hand is visible in one sequence. A different clip shows Kawana Jenkins sitting on the inmate's lap saying, give them to me, give them to me. As said, D.O. Jenkins gave inmate a set of Cartier glasses while licking and kissing on his right cheek facial hair, according to Fulton County Court documents. Sheriff Pat Labatt is making sure the terminated officer is prosecuted for violation of oath of office and other charges. As for steak dinners getting to the floors, he wrote, the delivery of outside food to inmates at the Fulton County Jail is strictly prohibited. Any employee who violates protocol and or allows a breach in security is disciplined, according to department policy. The problem for jail commanders is the amount of money some inmates have available to dole out for favors. So how much money are we talking about? Let's take a cell phone, for example. You get a prisoner one of these, that's $2,000, perhaps even a little bit more. Sources are telling me that there are several individuals here who have either broken the policy or broken the law. From Northwest Atlanta, I'm Morse Diggs, Fox 5 News. <sighs> so wicked how much money have you made doing this shit great question have you never enough money right Dude, but is this common i mean it happens i guess i, I plead the fifth on that one <laughs> you don't be bringing in um goddamn <laughs> taco bell for the um on videos in there man 